On December 8th, 1984, um, some friends and I decided to take my father's car to go to Mexico for the day. But on the way home, we ended up hitting the guardrail. That accident made my body feel pain at every moment. And so there is a hypersensitivity on part of it and causes losses of strength in other parts. It's like, don't push me, I'll fall over. <laughs> and I have something called temporal bilateral seizures. My seizures involve intrusive noise in my mind. And it's often music, it's sometimes words, and sometimes it's just blaring sound. But you can't stop it. When Valerie applied, she initially wanted a seizure response dog. But once we got to know her and more about her disability, we felt like a mobility assist dog would be relevant and beneficial to her situation. So we actually found a dog that was willing and honestly eager to do both. Galen has this amazing ability through can-do that has allowed him to be trained for my mobility issues, to help pick up things, and then also the seizures. So he can kind of be aware of all of the things that I'm doing. Valerie and Galen kind of have, it's almost like watching newlyweds you know there's sort of there's sort of this unspoken thing between the two of them I can tell that he's constantly watching her face her eyes looking for anything out of the ordinary park Galen really helps me stay focused and aware of what's happening on my mind and he will remind me you are too tired something is happening in your mind and you better sit down. And he will push me, like, again, visit. He will visit until I am through. And that is a wonderfully grounding feeling. When Valerie has seizures, tactile stimulation or any kind of sensory input really helps her regain focus and come back to the real world quicker. And that's what Galen does when he leans across her lap. When you don't have hands that clasp things very, very tightly, you drop things. And so I drop things all the time. Sometimes it just looks like a dog is picking up a pen for a person, but it's, a, it's so much more than that. He's saving her the pain of reaching and repetitive motions. So she actually doesn't have to have as many seizures because she's able to find more rest and recoup more energy thanks to all the things that he does around the house. I'll have to say, Galen, can you go get that sock? Because I can't get all the way down to the ground to get my own sock. Um, some mornings are like that and some are not. Um, but he's there all the time. Time to go up, come on. If you've ever had a medical or physical event happen, the absolute worst thing is to feel that you're all alone. Now I, there's a lot less fear. I am not alone. Somebody's there looking after me. I don't think I saw Valerie as a shut-in, but I feel like she was nervous going out and about. That what if was looming in the back of her mind. I would stay home more. I would crawl into bed more. I would put all sorts of limits on myself. And I feel like once she had Galen and he was trained to be exactly what she needed him to be, that all seemed to go away. She would just be out and about. And we were out all day yesterday in Maple Grove, and the night before we were at the theater. Tell me where we're going and let's go. We felt it was really meant to be because Galen is a Labrador and Golden Retriever mix, and Valerie is one of the kindest human beings you'll ever get to meet. So we made a team out of two golden souls. I don't worry about her the same way I used to worry about her. And I feel like if I don't get a chance to check in, or if she says, you know, I'm just really tired, I'm just gonna lay low today, and then God forbid something might happen, I know that Galen is right there by her side.
the love that Galen shows her is something that goes far beyond training. You know, he's known so much care and love from puppy raisers and volunteers. You know, we've all taken care of him. I think she gets the love that she deserves from that dog every single day. Thank you. Thank you for creating these teams of people that don't necessarily always have a team. He is my team. What greater gift could an organization give a person that has unseen disabilities? They see us. Thank you.